land art or earth art, from what the artist would tell me, they were looking for a larger canvas to work on. And we really thought that the work we were doing was going to end galleries. They were kind of troublemakers, confusing the marketing. In fact, they didn't have any market, not only because they were difficult, but also because people were not able to grasp them. The person I was most interested in was Smithson, mainly because Smithson wrote, and wrote better than most curators wrote. He seemed to be connected with the dark forces. His work, his view, his writings have this apocalyptic nature almost. My relationship with Michael Heiser was always rather difficult. I think he was quite competitive, and Michael Heiser could be extremely, you might say, temperamental. They were rivals. They both were into earthworks, so there was a bit of tension between them. Walter de Maria, he was very secret. He doesn't want to tell you what is the meaning of the work. Like Michael, they want you to experience the work. They want to enter in the work. The idea of land art is related to the idea of the globe, especially after the first picture of the earth gives you the idea that earth is an object. And you can design on it, you can draw. It's all this kind of convergence of information, technology, information, and history that makes land art. I love when Walter was saying, you know, my new brush is a caterpillar, or that the earthquakes are the best way of shaping a sculpture, which is the earth.